Empire's journal. Hugo speaking. Hey, boss, it's me. Gail? I thought you left for the holidays. I can't stop thinking about it, boss. The letter? I can't get it out of my head. Something about this one just feels different. Different? What are you talking about? Is this about the hotel story again? I just think it could be worth checking out, is all. I keep thinking... Didn't I tell you to not waste time with this kind of crap? These people are lonely, Gale. They have nothing better to do. They just want some form of recognition. Even this Ben guy? He doesn't exist. Believe me, this is all hogwash. I've seen it before. I'm just saying, this one feels different. It just doesn't make sense. Lying about something like this, and the letter itself, something about it really stuck with me. What are you really asking me here? I think I'm asking you to trust me. Listen, I'll even bring my own camera. Do you have a title? I'll figure it out. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Onlooker. This is an Ichio horror game that uh, <clears throat> starts up immediately. Benjamin Sin. And has. The Inquirer's Journal. Pretty dated January solid 9th, voice acting. 1979. By Gail Smith. Alright. My arrival seems to be expected. Just keeps going. A single room key with a note attached. Someone here has been waiting for me. Oh, oh, no, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm always a little nervous with Unreal Engine games. Oh, okay. It's not E to pick up stuff. Once again, that's. Okay. Oh, look, I'm back here. <gasps> Ooh, I'm so bad. Oh, my goodness. Okay. A doge. Missing dog. Have you seen our beloved Bob B B Bingy? Bingy? Please let us know at the reception. Alright. Why is this door boarded? Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so nice! What a fancy place! Oh my goodness. This is so fancy. Look at this. You get a little cubby with a little chest. Checkmate! Be hey, look, a freaking thing. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. The hotel's glory days might be long past. But the walls are strangely comforting. Oh, I thought there was... Ooh, what the heck did I just click? I just misclicked something. And now I don't know how to not do this. I can't even move anymore. Oh! Shake to file up the photo. What is that lovely? Dismiss. How did I do that? What did I click? C. It's C. C for camera, obviously. Durr. So that's gonna be a freaking... Boom. Ooh. Camera's like creepy mode. What room was I? I completely forgot. 203? Aha. Well, isn't this lovely? You got this guy pointing over. What's over here? I might have hoped Benjamin these guys. Me here. This one again. I wonder what YouTube's rules are for artwork. Um, isms. You know what I'm saying? Gail Smith, I know I said we would meet here, and I will. I just need to see something first. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before you realize it will all become clear to you then. Enjoy your stay. Take your time. Look around, Benjamin. You put that... You formatted that weirdly. It's like a football thing going on. I'll leave that on so that a jump scare is not as scary. Ooh, maybe I should turn it up. Uh, For such a nice hotel... And look at this, like lounge area it's quite nice you then have like this boring <laughs> there's nothing in here like what is this room that is so weird there's like ugh. what the heck that looks Ooh. oh i could just go in there huh well maybe later maybe we'll like, adventure later oh wow that's some nice toilet paper oh <laughs> Maybe I should go in the vent. That's such a good idea, sticky note. Let's take a picture of the sticky note. There's probably nothing that... Oh, wow. Ooh. 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 God, what, what the heck is that glare coming from? There's probably no spooks that would happen with... How 
How do I? What do you? Oh. 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 Oh, I don't like this. See, is it the radio helping though? Don't you feel a little less spooky? Okay. Well, maybe there was something spooky out there, but not anymore. Okay. Can I? It like auto crouches. Can I not actually crouch? No, I can't crouch on my own. It auto crouches when I need to crouch. Turns out the door to the mystery was right here with me all along. I can't hear it. Between him. There's another radio playing. God dang. All right. Isaac's, uh, Steven, Ste Stevens, uh, Mr. Stevens is back again, like an old friend. Doesn't your wife worry, Isaac? Does she know where you are? He still spends all his time eating or wandering around his room. Nothing ever changes. In some ways, it's comforting to watch him. The TV is turned up too loud for him to hear me knocking. Too loud for him to hear me knocking. Okay. Disgusting. This guy worked a normal job. Oh. Had a normal life. And when that life grew gray and boring, this is where he would come. To be completely alone. Turns out he wasn't. Oh. If I get a copyright strike for that, I'm gonna be mighty mad. <laughs> oh, should I? Oh, do I do that? Should I look in there? You freaking. Use the camera flash to see in dark places. That's a terrible freaking. Find the key. Okay. Norma and Toad, dirty, lazy workers. Norma never does anything but complains, and Toad is stupid. <laughs> I uh, watched them drop some meat on the floor and still serve it. Pretty sure they serve bites of people's food to the dog as well. That stupid dog, Bob B Bingy, Bingy, he keeps barking at the ceiling. He knows I'm up here. I must do something about him. Okay, that's interesting. The kitchen staff going about their day, fulfilling their mundane tasks. Little did they know that someone was keeping an eye on them. Waiting for a misstep. So was like the owner or the boss just like chilling up here, like, oh, they're gonna mess up and then I can fire him. Like, Marion, uh, Michael, the lovebirds, they've been here for four weeks. Don't they have anywhere to be? Never seen far apart, skin always touching in some way. Almost enough to make a man jealous. Except Mary is always just crying, and Michael is the one with the black eye this time. What? What the heck? Shut up! Oh, there's a foot in a tub. That's a tub foot. So is the met is the owner of the like hotel like super weird and always spying on people? Oh, I can like. Wiggle a little. Oh, that's weird. Like I can like. I remember hearing breathing. She said, but I wasn't in a state of mind. To I can like wiggle. Not. And she thought her husband was the only one who knew of her violent outbursts. Mm. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, a cake. Oh, let's just have a little cake. What the heck is that? Is that a hole, or is that... What am I looking at? I don't want to fall in a hole. Especially a very obvious hole. Uh, what the heck? Oh, hi. What the heck am I looking at? It is a hole. Oh, there's stairs. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Did somebody just close the hole? Someone just closed the hole. Is that feet? Looks like feet. Eh. Oh, well, that didn't help at all. I think that's feet. So somebody knows I'm freaking skulking about. Alright. 
My character seems completely cool with the whole scenario, though. Strange place to make a lair. Dusty and cramped. I wonder if he watched me from his bed when I arrived. Oh. So when I was walking up, he was watching. Ooh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Tick, tick. I like being able to do something that it's like, even though it's worthless as far as a combat scenario would go, it's still nice to be able to just switch it up. You know, leaning has never been my thing. He hid in the shadows of his room to drink and sleep his days away. The stench of liquor carries through the vent and becomes an opening for the world to know his terrible secret. What is going on in there? Um, bottle collection is impressive at this point, growing more and more every day. All he does is watch pornography. I'm surprised he could still get it up with all that alcohol in his blood. The other day I heard him talking to somebody on the phone. It sounded, uh, what does that say? Relatively one-sided. I wonder if, if I can tilt it to give me more light. I wonder if uh, the girls in reception are ignoring him on purpose. They have good reason to. I'm still the creepy one in this scenario, I think. I mean, not me, the character, me, the owner of the place. Oh. Whose closet is this? There's a toothbrush on the floor. That's not very hygienic. Ooh, what the heck room is this? Take this key. I will show you something. Okay. Can I take the candle? Oh, God! Why? <laughs> Why did that just happen? Are you serious? My character blew out the candle. God dang it. That scared the crap out of me. Oh, my God. It was right in my ears. <gasps> like somebody just freaking came up and whispered. Jesus. I hate everything. Oh, is this the person that was in the bathtub? Oh my god, is that a dead... What is that? I can't even tell. That's a dog. That's a dead dog. Hold on, let me spook myself again. Hold on. God! Dang it! Why Why is it so loud? Um, okay, good. I'm glad that happened. I'm slightly relieved... Because I know there's other people in this hotel now. Like, there's just people hanging out. Which is alright. Gives me a little bit of relief. Should I take a picture of the dog? I don't know if taking pictures is, like, a thing that I'm supposed to do. I guess I'll do it. Eh. Eh? Well, there's the dog. <laughs> Oh, my radio is still on. Alright. What do I have this key for? Do I have an inventory? I'm afraid to press escape, as per tradition. Alright. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. So what does it open? So where is that hole? So you can see me from like here, which means the hole is like here? Somewhere? Maybe it's in the painting. That is the dog. Is that the dog that's upstairs though? Didn't look like the same kind of dog. That looks like a, what is it, a German Shepherd? Didn't look close to that. Alright. Oh, can I spook myself with these candles? Nope. Only specific candles. Alright, what am I using this key for? Was it just the dog? Did I go outside? No. Did I miss something? 
I wish I could run. I mean, like, this this movement speed is... Ugh. It's nice when you're, like, behind a wall and you're walking through a small corridor slowly, but... Now I'm in a hallway, and I'm at the end of the hallway. Um, What is the key for? Did you say the same thing? Yeah. Was there another like putting on a mask? Benjamin slipped into the very walls of the hotel. It's like no one ever saw him again. But he was always this. there. This series, however, is not about all drugs and not about all people, but centers huh. on the young, their interests, what? their fascination with drugs. What? In a drug conscious society. Why is it getting why is it getting spooky? Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this one flip flapping bit. Okay. Uh. Uh. Why did you have to peep? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Um. Are you messed up? I'm messed up. I'm the only one who sees us for what we are. And I see my part of it. I'm waiting for you, Gail. There's nothing left for me. He ordered grapes, wine, and cheese, sat on his couch watching his favorite show. What a life. The grape went straight down his throat and he choked. Three minutes. He struggled for about three minutes. Eventually his face turned blue and his arms dropped dead. Isaac Stevens died by suffocating on a grape. I just stood there watching. So he's dead. Oh. Are they all dead? Is this where I... Is this where I find out that my whole, like, saying that I felt better about people being here? Do you see him now? I let him die, I let him die, I let him die. Ooh. Uh. Boing. Benjamin made a whole world inside these walls. And he made sure nobody knew. Even though they were all part of it. They had no idea the purpose he found in lying in wait. Looking in on all their sad little lives. It's snowing. And what did I feel? I saw the openings. And gladly, I looked. For the love of God. Uh, this is the end of the story. Make it a good one. Uh-oh. Oh! What was that? What the heck is that? What am I looking at? Did he just shoot into the... What the heck? Ooh, that's a body. Is that... Is that old Benny boy? Oh. This is a story about remorse. This is a story about obsession. Benjamin couldn't live with the weight of his sin. He had seen too much and had nobody to tell it to. I saw what he saw, and it still wasn't enough to shift the blame. Uh. But the worst part of it all, I think I understand. Do you? Do you? Oh. <sighs> Jesus! God dang it, lead sound designer. Why did you make the candle blowing out things so spooky? Game level designer, good good stuff. Programming, nice. Um, freaking voice acting. Oh. Alright, program level, nice. Lead narrative. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's just gotta go through all of them. Um, that was really cool. I like that. I, the only spook that actually happened to me was when I blew out the god dang candles, which is so stupid. Why does that have to happen to me? Anyway, um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe, uh, hit share. I'll put a link 
in the description to the game if you want to check it out. It was a really cool game. The voice acting was pretty good. I mean, usually it's like, ooh, ooh. It faded back in. Ooh. Hey, boss. I have the title. Is there anything else? Nope, it closed. <laughs> Jeez, that was really good. Um, go check out some of the videos I made, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Jeez. Jeez.